Hi guys, welcome back to the Davis at Home. So at long last, we are actually doing this backsplash here. Um, you know, someone actually said, you know, they've been hearing this whole backsplash thing since we moved in. So yes, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I so have something to say for that. You have something to say for that. Yes. We are real people mm -hmm. that have real lives that we do stuff, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes mm -hmm. you get busy with something. I'm yeah. not getting paid to do this backstage, <laughs> okay? Yes. My wife says she paid me with love, but I have clients so with my side hustle that I do that they pay me money. So if, if that one is due that I have to finish that project, then I'll do it. So you prefer money to the love that I give you? No, I'll get the love regardless. Why don't you marry me? <laughs> okay, so anyway, Ash is um, working on this backsplash now. So I'm going to be asking questions. Um, drop your questions down below. Like he had said previously, he is an amateur, but he did a really good job. This is like the very last part of it. So yeah, I'm going to film him doing it and then we will reveal the end product uh -huh. so before he gets started with everything he is taking out the covers for the plugs right yeah the, the wall plate, the plug wall plate thing okay because obviously when you're tiling a box flash you are uh, you're gonna put the tile here as close to this square as possible and then this wall plate is going to rest on top of the tile so um that's why i'm taking these off and then i have to figure out which of the um the switch what do you call it the switch box thing yes the that, switch box is down in a basement right yeah i have to figure out which one turns these off so this is a um, voltage tester that obviously you can use this and put it to it. And this is telling me that there's live electricity here. So that one, the red one, does, does that mean there's no light? Hmm? I saw a red light. Yeah, that's telling you that there's electricity. Oh, the red means there's electricity. Yeah. Are you recording or is Yeah, it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go to the basement and then find out. This is like, sometimes, I mean, they label the, they label the switch box. Um, what is, I can't, that's not the name of it, is it? Switch box. It's not switch box. I don't know what it's called. If you don't know what it's called, I will, how will I know? So it's circuit breaker. So the circuit breaker box, usually they, they label it to say like, this is for kitchen or kitchen A, kitchen B and so on. But some of them is not so clear. So I'm gonna go to the basement and it will just be a trial and error for me to check which one will take off these set of plugs. Um, because I know from doing the other sections, there was like, one for this section i had to turn off then there was two of them that i had to do for this section one was for one half one was for the other half so i can't remember which one turns off this so i'm gonna try it and see you should have probably labeled it when you found that out yeah well that's why i'm not professional. so i think he's finally figured it out so when it is actually green that means that it's just when it doesn't flash red, it means the power is done. Then it's out. The power is out. I remember when he was um, doing the other parts of the kitchen. He had to do it during the day because then we didn't have light, isn't it? Yeah, because um, I can't. I think it's the big section. Like I had to take out two. I had to turn off two of the switch boxes, one for one side, one for the other. And then also for the mudroom area. Because of so many, there's so many different switches and plugs in this house. Like, it's like there's a plug here, a switch here that turns on the light out in the mudroom. 
so that's why i had to switch that one off as well and then it turned off all the lights so i had to wait till daylight to do it and then luckily the under cabinet lights there is uh in the microwave plugged into the microwave above so that one i didn't have to turn off right so i was able to use that light when it got like a bit dark yeah so i'm sure you guys have seen that there's like some dismantling over here he had to kind of dismantle all the on the cabinet lights too so yeah this is it so far all right so what are we doing next um this one on this so this is the uh one for the, the cable, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the cat. Yeah. So this is the cat six um, for the internet. And I'm just going to double check that there's no power there. Um, so I'm going to plug my laptop. Mr. In. D is using some liquid. What is this thing called? It's a TS, liquid TSP. What does it it's, do? It's basically like a all-purpose heavy-duty cleaner. Um, it's not like a necessary step that you have to do before you tile on to drywall. But, but for you, everything is extra, isn't it? No. <laughs> but um, like some people, they sand down the, the drywall to make sure it's smooth and stuff. I don't think that's necessary. This is a new construction home. So it's already flat, but all I'm doing is using this cleaner just to wipe off in case there's like any grease or dust or dirt or whatever it is, just to make sure that the surface is clean on there. So. thing I'm doing now is this is where like I think a lot of people take with tiling for granted is where something I learned with tiling is you have there's a lot of planning involved where you need to plan out like how you're gonna lay the tiles and where you're gonna start where you're gonna end and like measure out okay if if like I'm gonna start here then I need to make sure I plan out all the tiles that I'm going to lay and make sure that my worst cuts are like in the corner because you don't want to like say, okay, I'll just start in this area and then come across here and then end up having some small tiny cuts here where people are always going to see. It. Yeah. So the other thing is, um, you want to make sure that everywhere is level and again, um, because this is a new construction home, like nine times out of 10, I would expect everywhere to be level. So far with all the other sections I've done, it has been. Um, and I know like the guy that did- um, uh, My, The whole tree. Yeah, he was even surprised. Like he was like, wow, this is like level. Like this is the first time that he did a home that was level. Cause usually old, older homes, it's like, it's all over the place. So I just go around with this level help if I have it the right way and make sure that you know there's no uneven areas so I can see this is good this is good too and this is good as well so yeah so it seems oh good Yeah. All right, Mr. D. Wild one. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing now? <laughs> so now I'm going into the planning phase. So I'm right now planning uh for where the trim is going to go. So I'm going to line up the trim to here so yeah I think that's 
So this is the infamous tile. The thing on the back is just a protector thingy, whatever. It's just how it comes with the packaging. Right. So all I'm doing now is like, as I said before, I like to plan out like how, how much full, uh, like full pieces, full. Why? Why I'm losing words? <laughs> full, these full things. How many of these I can get before I have to start making some cuts? Um, so that's why I'm just not even bothering taking them out yet. I'm just putting them. I've tried this different ways. I tried uh, one way before that contractor suggested to me. Is where he said if I measure this wall and then measure the height and um, after measure that section only and then he said if I lay out on here with that measurement and then lay them all out there and do all my cuts I tried that and I found it I took very long so I find this way what I'm doing where I just lay these out here see how it looks and then after I'll start drawing the pattern and stuff on the wall because this tile is not, I mean, to me, I don't think this tile is very easy to lay. And other people that have seen it, it's not very easy because of the patterns and like making sure the joints are good and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing. So as we can see here, this is where clearly I have a cut to make because it doesn't go all the way for mm. this side but that's why like i said before it's better for you to have cuts that even may look ugly in the corner rather than At over the there end. where people can see it easily so i know i'm gonna need to cut here and then again I don't want to have to have a cut out here because this is where people's going to see it easily. I want the cuts to be there. So I'll start from here for this one. And then I know that I'm going to have to have some kind of cut in there. So that's where in that corner is where my cuts are going to be. Hopefully people are not looking there. Anyone that's looking there. Like they, it's they a monotrim spirit. They have they have a problem if they're looking there. So, all right. What I'm doing here is I am now planning how I'm going to lay the um the tile. So, again, for me, this is what helps me is that I draw this pattern because this is like a pattern tile, like with the shape and stuff. I find it easier to just draw the pattern on the wall so that I can easily just line everything out and plan my cuts easily. Because again, I said it already, I'm not good at measuring stuff. So these lines also help me with measuring things and making sure it fits correctly. And I'm not trying to make this perfect. It's just to give me an idea an outline yeah just to give a rough idea of where it is so I, I don't care if it doesn't look perfect
Okay, and then what I also need to do is to take in consideration with this electric um, plug, this plug outlet. So this is where I'm gonna wanna make this where it, you can kind of see the outline of where the plate, the face plate thing is. So I wanna probably cut around here and then up to here. But something that I have that helps me with the measurement for this, uh, the box is uh, I have a piece of wood cut so that I can just put it there and then draw the line on it. So let me just do this first. So about here. How do you use permanent, permanent marker? It washes off. Okay. Let me get my box thing. This is man-made. It's like a piece of wood that I cut, which is the shape of this, of like the, the box thing for the outlet. So the reason why I cut this is because one of the plugs that I had, I don't remember which section it was, but like I had to make a cut like right in the middle like that. And it was hard for me to like, again, I said, I'm not good at measuring. So it was hard for me to measure like how far down I need to start this cut and how far across to start this. So I said, it's easier if I get a piece of wood and cut it to make it that shape and then all I have to do is just stick it on there and just draw around and done. So like with this one, I have this piece of wood here. So I know my point there, my point here. And I just draw my lines on there. And I mean, it's not perfect, but it works for me. line this up again then you can kind of see where it does line up good and if I check with the the face plate thing yeah so that will work So that's that one. this helps me personally because I, I, I'm not good at measuring is that this is where I can measure for my cuts so it's like I usually start with these bottom ones first and you know I can just measure here and say okay this is how much it come to and then just take my measurement and draw my line so with this one I can get two cuts out of this do one two so I'll just do this for all of these um, and then once I've done these cuts in fact I'm going to measure for these ones as well 
and um, once I've done those, then I can start laying them down. So that um, like the adhesive doesn't dry on the towel. So it's but just isn't to it meant sure to try, dry? Not on the towel, like on the top of the towel. Oh, on the top of the towel. Yeah. Okay. So it's to make sure that any of the adhesive that squeezes out, that you clean it so that it's not on there. Because when it dries, you're gonna have to use a scraper to get it off. Oh, okay. So. Mr. D has finally gotten this far. And then he puts these little things in there. What is the purpose of these little dot things? These little clips. The little white stuff. What does it do? Put space in between them. Yeah, in between the towels, but I don't use them that often. So he had. He had a little complication where he ended up having to go back and get more tiles and it helped. And now he's like moving fast because he got all his cuts done. And now all he's doing is just tiling, 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 tiling. And then when he's, he's hopefully gonna be done tonight, right babe? Yeah. And then when he's done, tomorrow he's gonna grout. And then he'll be done, right? Yeah. So yeah. It is day three of the Thailand. Um, typically day two is the, what do you call it? The grouting, because you have to wait for the adhesive to dry before you go back and grout it. But we had an issue where I think Ash explained in the previous video where the tiles kept breaking. So he ended up having to eventually give up and go, go back to Lowe's and get um, more tiles to cut. And so we couldn't because it finish. it was different quality tiles. Yeah, it was different. It was like at the bottom of the box, uh, they, they, I guess, I don't know if someone returned some different ones, the bottom of the box was slightly different but they still look near enough the same, but it's just that the quality was different. And the color was easy. slightly off too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think uh, when I read the reviews on the towels, people kept complaining that they break a lot. So I think these are the older version that people kept complaining about because the ones I got, they didn't break like that. Mm -hmm. Like not that easy. Yeah. So yeah, we... Um, He's now grouting, and the grouting shouldn't take that long, right, babe? No, this is the fun part. So, he basically... Do you have to mix anything with the grout, or it comes pre-made? No, I'm lazy, so okay. I buy this pre-made grout. Probably mix. the most expensive one, right? I don't think it is that expensive, to be honest. Yeah. But, so, I mean, even if it is, it's convenient. So because I'm... otherwise, you have to pour the powder in a bucket... You have to make sure you have the right ratio of the powder and water and then you have to mix it and make sure you have the right consistency because if you make it too liquidy then it's bad so now you have to add more powder so at least with this one you know it's already sure. done yeah so he's just putting it on there and i think he'll just go back and use uh what you call it no i grout up to one section because the thing with grouting is like this is gonna cause a haze like already this is like hazed onto the the tile so you grout small sections then you wipe it off then go to the next section wipe it off what about this this like little corner yeah i'm gonna do it oh, okay 
Gabriel, stand back because I might get some grout on you. And then you just wipe it off. Just to start off wiping off like this. And then once I've got most of it off, then I do more of a clean wipe. Move, move from here. So he's, uh, what do you call it? Gets the foam, just like what we did previously. And um, it's just water, right? Yes. Yeah. And obviously you're going to get some spots where you miss the grout. So usually I just get my finger and fill it. Now, me, I have tough hands like Brillo pads. So my hands, I don't mind getting grout on there. But most people, you probably should wear gloves when you're doing this. So now he's going ahead and filling the parts that he missed with his fingers. Pamash construction in the works. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It makes it beautiful. It does. So in the corner, this is how he's going to do it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It will drink it. He's drinking it. That's why I have stuff on the floor. <coughs> yeah, he has some stuff on the floor.
thank you so much for watching to all our day one subscribers thank you for being patient enough to sticking with us to um for us to, and keep pushing us to do this um backsplash um, diy and then to the new subscribers we really appreciate you all welcome to the family thank you so so much you all know that we're not very good at diys and stuff but speak I, for yourself okay but i think ashley did a great job he really did a great job and so yeah it was uh it was hard for me to convince him for <laughs> for us to film and share this but yeah we finally was able to get it done so next week we will be back with another video please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet subscribe and comment your comments and stuff are very supportive and encourage us to keep doing this so thank you so much for your subscriptions we appreciate it all um god bless we'll be back next week please remember to like subscribe and tell us if our dad did a great job Tyler. Give us a good thumbs up. A good thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>